weekend. I wrap Steen of Linder & Associates with your metals market wrap up and this wrap up is for Friday, the 15th of May, 2020. And on the weekend wrap up, we'll look at a monthly chart first and everything else is gonna be weekly so we get a feel for what's going on. And what a day it was. Silver up 91 cents. I had warned yesterday in this video that all you needed was another higher close outside of that Bollinger Band today to get an upside breakout. I frankly didn't think it was going at nearly a dollar higher today, but away it goes. In fact, most of the metals are picking up and we have to understand industry in America is going to attempt to open this coming week and the week after. So we're getting to the point where state upon state is gradually letting things happen. The auto industry will do this. Uh, we're not at the restaurant point yet in most states, some are. We'll see how that works for them. But we are getting the factories gradually reopening and that's a positive sign. We didn't get much help in the stock market today. The dollar was down a little bit, but the energy market a powerful rally as they move to the upside. Now, as we take a look at the gold on a monthly bar chart, it's ahead of itself. What do I mean by that? You only stay over the upper Bollinger Band 5% of the time. So the first thing I teach traders is you don't buy over a Bollinger Band. Wait for the market to pull back to you. The pattern on this chart has been a lower low, a higher high. We've certainly had an upside bias and momentum is pointing up. When we come to a weekly area chart of just closing prices, this is the best close we have had in years. The market was up 2.5% for the week, up $42.5, and we've certainly surpassed this number. So I'll be moving this line to this close at $17.56, $20 higher than where it was there. When we take a look at the chart as it is, you can see how the market's climbing higher and the pattern on the weekly chart, higher lows, higher highs. But you've got to keep in the back of your mind. On the monthly chart, you're still over that upper Bollinger Band. It doesn't have to give that up for a total of five months, but it is over it. Weekly chart, a little different. We'll see where that's at. You're over the 18 week average, that's over the 100, over the 200, so it's a bull market. You had these attempts to break in March, and that was when, what, the stock market collapsed and people were selling assets to hold on to their stocks. These assets, and the market has come back. But on the weekly chart, it's very fascinating to me that we haven't gotten back over the highs we made back here. When I look at the Bollinger Band on the weekly chart, it's much higher. It's 1784.40. So there is certainly room for this market to go to the upside. Not that much room on the daily chart, and we know the monthly's over it, but you still have room to go. What about momentum? The momentum is pointing up. And remember, on the weeklies, we don't look for overbought, oversold. I just look, is it pointing up, down, or is it neutral? Pointing up, trend up, next resistance, 1784.40. What would be the ointment, the fly ointment that hurts this? Taking out 1683, which is about $70 an ounce lower. The market that's trying to catch this is now the silver. Silver has made a definitive statement. 120 is too high. You're back to 103. We'll see if the market, what it does, can it approach the 101.50 area, which is the 18-week moving average of closes? But now I can take this line and draw it even further, and I'll do that for you on the next one. But I wanted to see what I wanted you to see what the market has done. As for silver, let's go back a week. This is what we looked like. We had the pattern of higher lows, higher highs. The market was fighting at the 100 week average, the 18 week average is here. The market got up and over everything with the swing line up and the bias up. Okay, let's take a look at the next chart. 
Copper market made its first run towards the 18-week average stall. The trend on the swing line is up, the bias is down, momentum is fairly flat here, so we're not doing too much on that one way or the other. In the platinum market, it appears to me the market wants to make a rally attempt to challenge levels of resistance at the 18-week, which is 842 to 851.70, the 100-week average of closes. Bias down, trend up, momentum up. Not a play yet on that market. Last in the dollar index. The dollar index has a pattern of a higher high, lower and low on the weekly charts. The question is, what does the market want to do here? Does it want to try to get back to the 18-week average or get through the 197? It's not giving us a, a true story. And obviously, we keep watching it to get an idea of what the metals will do from it. I want to remind you one of the things that I try to do for you is my subscriber videos. Now, what I do in the morning is I, I get up early, unlike a lot of people. I am up at uh, about 4.30 in the morning. I start reading really early. I get my cup of coffee, and believe it or not, I do look, and I'm going to turn this off so that we, we don't get the, this bothering me. And by the way, you saw that phone there. This, that is the phone that I actually use at this point. And on that phone, what I try to do is I'm looking and reading the different newswire services and so on. Then I get down into my office. And in my office, I have my full studio, all my computer screens. I have quite a few of them, to be honest with you. And I start looking at what's going on. I, Put that together and I'd start talking to you at about 5.30 to 5.45 in the morning. I record a video. I'm going to cover all these markets. There'll be 40 charts all together. And in those charts, what I'm trying to do is give you an idea of what I'm seeing in those charts. So you put it together. I've got all this. You get a slide bar and on the slide bar, I try to give you an idea of what I'm going to cover one way or the other. But you're able to, on this, pull that slide bar, and let's assume that you're just interested in the metals. That's what you want to go to. You may not want to look at the interest rates, foreign currencies. I make it easy. You jump right to it with the slide bar, let go of it, and it's going to play for you. So how do you get all this? Well, it's simple. You go to our website, and under www.irapstein.com, you go up to research. It tells you all about it, what it is. It is a charge for service, $7.95 for the first 30 days, no contract with me, and you'll get to see what I'm talking about in this. The videos are typically 20 minutes long. That's why we put markers on them, where you can go, what markers you see. On my spider ETF videos, I do the same thing. It's the same markers on the website, tells you the different sectors that you're in and where you're at on that. So give it a try. Not expensive, that's for sure. And maybe, just maybe, you get a trade idea out of it. I'm Ira. You have a good day.